All right, so um, I'm Regional Director Lydia Hayes here, and I'm excited to bring on my National Director, Amanda Robinson. Super excited to have this boss chick on here because everything that she touches turns to gold. She's gonna be telling you guys how to turn your content into coins. Get your pens, get your paper, drop some fire emojis if you guys are excited to hear from her. Amanda, I'm going to unmute you, babe. Let me see if this works. Every time I hit unmute, it works. Oh, it works. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Are we good? Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Lydia, for that warm, special announcement invite. Thank you so much, babe. Um, Lydia is one of my regional directors. She is such an asset to my team. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I see all the love in the comments, you guys. I love it, I love it. I'm Amanda. Before we start, I honestly want to say thank you to Daryl Drake, our ambassador. Thank you so much for inviting me on this call to talk to the team, talk to the vibes, you guys. I've been in the company for nine months, and Daryl has literally been holding my hand step by step. He has helped me so much to level up my business, impacted me in just a tremendous way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Daryl. And I also want to say thank you to my personal sponsor, Mr. Global, Mr. Let's Work, Lorenzo Hoffman. You guys, I am forever grateful for Daryl Drake and Lorenzo. But today, I honestly want to give you guys tips and tricks and strategies and tools that you can use to turn your content into coins. Um, I've been in network marketing and affiliate marketing for six years, and I noticed that most people struggle with content in the comments let me know if you guys ever made a post and you didn't have any type of engagement you didn't get any likes you didn't get any comments and you're just like dang um don't nobody want to buy from me i'm not going to be successful so drop some emojis drop a one in the comments for me if you ever experienced that you posted something and you didn't get no type of bite like nobody's biting the bait like nothing all right i see a lot of ones okay so this honestly this webinar is going to be for you guys um I'm really good. If I had to choose my strength, I'm really good with words. Um, when I was since elementary school, I've been in journalism. So my mom always said I can honestly talk my way out of anything. I can sweet talk. I'm like into women's empowerment. I know how to uplift people, use my words for good. So my content game is always strong. So I'm gonna give y'all some nuggets today to up level your business with your content, okay? And so I'm going to screen share with you guys. I got a whole presentation for y'all as well. I'm going to upload this. And y'all let me know in the comments if you can see my screen share. Hold on, y'all. Post disabled. Okay. Lydia or Whitney, can you guys um, allow, it says host disabled screen sharing. Can you guys allow me to screen share? I just, I just fixed it. Go ahead, Amanda. Okay, thanks, babe. Let's see. And y'all let me know in the comments when y'all can see my screen share too. Can y'all see it? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, okay. So today we're gonna talk about building your business like a boss, all right? This is my pink print to turning your content into coins. I am Amanda, National Director here in Total Life Changes, you guys. And I'm also a women's success coach and the founder of Paid and Pretty Chick. I'm a lifestyle brand dedicated to helping women master financial success. I am also executive VP of one of the largest women's empowerment brands online. We have a podcast, TV show, blog, and honey more. I've impacted thousands of women in their journey of starting their own life businesses, monetizing their influence, leveraging social media over the last six years. And now I am here talking to y'all today, giving y'all all the tips, the jewels, the gems, everything to up level your business. So if you're ready to turn your content into coins, go ahead and drop some emojis for me. I love the pink heart emoji, y'all. Go ahead and drop some emojis for me in the comments so we can go ahead and get this thing started. Yes. Okay. So what we'll be covering today is how to grow your audience on Instagram, the ultimate content strategy, how to capture your leads, how to put your business on autopilot, and how to captivate your audience with your captions that sell and not suck. All right. So I'm going to really just break down. I'm going to keep this extremely simple. This is going to be probably a little bit intermediate to advanced, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, and I'm not going to take too much of y'all time. <laughs> but we're going to get this thing started. So what I noticed 
is for everyone who said earlier in the beginning of the live stream who don't really get too much engagement on their posts. They seem to forget that you kind of have to have a strategy to sell. It's more than just making a post one time to be like, damn, ain't nobody, <laughs> don't nobody, nobody buy from me. It's going to take more than one time for people to see something before buying. So I'm going to break down to you guys how I create a content funnel to turn my content into coins. So if you don't know what a funnel is, a funnel is a step-by-step um, -step process that allows your potential customer to your offer to make a purchase. So in other words, it's a strategy to use different tools to turn your lurkers into customers, y'all. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind, it takes the average person seven to 10 times to see something before making a commitment on a lower ticket item, all right? Items over, $100. They have to see it more than 30 times. All right. So it's going to take more than you just posting every once in a while. It's going to take more than you just taking a picture of the CBDT and making a post telling people to click the link in the bio. In the bio. It's going to take more than you just to post your picture with your Nutriverse. It takes more. So I'm going to break down my content funnel on how I turn my um, content into uh, coins. All right. And this is just my pink print. From the moment you get started with me in um, TLC, I give everybody the pink print. Everybody in my organization know what the pink print is. And this is pretty much it. It's pretty much a checklist of what you need to do on social media. My overall goal, you guys, on social media, and it's really Facebook because Facebook is my main um, platform I use for my business. But my overall goal is to be all up in their face every day. Like I want them to see me on Instagram. I want them to see me on Facebook. Honey, I want them to see me in my stories. I want them to see me on live streams. I want them to even see me when they're not on, um, on social media. I'm going to be in their email. I'm going to be texting them via SMS messenger. Like y'all, I want them to see me everywhere. So if you're not using any of these strategies, I want you guys to screenshot this right now. Okay, screen, sh screenshot this. This is definitely something that's gonna take your business to the next level. And I know right here you guys see email marketing. I'm gonna touch on it a little bit and maybe later on we can do more of advanced training on how to um, incorporate email marketing and text marketing into your business. But my overall goal, this is a strategy I use every single day, you guys, to post one or two times per day, okay? And it can be between whatever platform you're using, post one or two times per day. My stories, stories is bay. Okay, I posted my stories <laughs> probably more than 15 times today, but I try to tell my team to post 10 to 15 times daily in your stories. And I'm gonna break down why that is in a little bit. Um, live streams, three times weekly. Email marketing, about five times weekly. But if you're not using email marketing, don't worry about it. I don't want y'all getting overwhelmed with information. Uh, but I do want you guys to kind of step into something you're not doing. So if you're not already doing email marketing, I want you guys to research to see if it's something that you can incorporate into your business. And lastly, exclusive private group on Facebook or a chat. I utilize both for my business. All right, so if you guys are planning on using any of these tips or strategies, I want y'all to drop a one in the comments. Drop a one. If you don't have an exclusive private Facebook group on Facebook, get one. Okay, it's not hard to create a Facebook group, all right? It's not hard to dele um, delegate. <laughs> it's not hard to download uh, Telegram or GroupMe or uh, WhatsApp, whatever, to it create an exclusive group for your prospects, all right? Yes, I see the emojis. Okay, so step one. Oh, someone's writing on the screen. Um, step one, growing your audience on Instagram, all right? So I'm going to touch on this a little bit, but this is really what's going to take your business to the next level, y'all. Really, And I want you guys to screenshot this as well. Screenshot this. Okay, so using niche hashtags, my girl Whitney, National Director Whitney Nicole, honey, did a phenomenal training two weeks ago, breaking down to you guys the importance of a target audience. So if y'all didn't watch that live stream, I want you guys to actually go ahead and um, watch the recording. I'm pretty sure Dana put it in the Facebook group. But she broke down the basics to really defining your target audience, defining your client avatar. So using niche hashtags, we, Instagram allows us to use about 30, 30 hashtags in our captions and in our comments. So what I do, here's my hashtag strategy. I use 10 broad hashtags and 20 specific hashtags. 
So for example, a broad um, hashtag is going to be something with a lot like millions of hashtags like fitness. We're in the health and wellness industry. So health and wellness will be our broad, okay? <laughs> so I would use something similar to health and wellness. Fitness, that's a broad. But what's really in the hashtags, you guys, is get as specific as possible. So depending on your target audience, like for me, it's women entrepreneurs. So my hashtags will be women who work out, black women who work out, curvy girl fitness, ATL fitness. These are very specific hashtags. So I want you guys to really go ahead and figure out what's your target audience. And a hashtags is something that the the customer is searching for to find you. I feel like everybody makes the mistake to use hashtags that people in their, um, in their industry is using. For example, TLC. That's typically a hashtag only people in TLC use. Unless you might get somebody here and there that will want to um, research something on TLC. But for the most part, people in TLC use hashtags in TLC. You're using hashtags to be found. So use hashtags you feel that your ideal client, ideal customer is using to find you. All right? And if you need help with um, creating hashtags, I want you guys to go ahead and check out the app, Hashtag Expert. All right, that app is lit. And also try to use, here's another tip, try to use hashtags bigger than 5K and under 250K are really, really good to start off with. Use relevant hashtags within your niche and use broad specific hashtags routinely throughout the time, okay? So every other post, change up your hashtags as well. Now, part two of step one, you guys, my favorite, paid promotions. Running promos on larger pages based on your target audience interests. So what blogs do they read? Are they on The Shade Room? Are they on Hollywood Unlocked? Are they on um, Perez Hilton? What blogs are they reading? Um, Nicole, what's an XOXL, Nicole something. That's another blog. So figure out what your target audience is doing. What's their interest? What do they watch on TV? What type of hobbies are they into? And these are the type of, this is how you're going to, I'm going to break down how to find your target audience. All right, so pages, I want you guys to screenshot this. And I don't know who keep writing on my screen. Uh, pages that you guys can run ads on on Instagram. Okay, so Hollywood Unlocked is another page. Now these are paid promotions, you guys. So everything on this list, it starts off at about $30 and it goes up all the way up into, um, I think the highest one, Hollywood Unlocked, and they change their prices based on their audience. The last time I checked, they were like $1,200. If you ain't got it, don't, don't worry about it. If you got it, utilize it. But I wanted to give you guys options and ideas on how to grow your audience. So these are pages you can run ads on, on Instagram. But before you run an ad on um, Instagram, I want you guys to make sure your content game is strong. All right, you need to give people a reason to follow you. You need to give people some value before they decide to follow you. So Hollywood Unlocked, T Tenders um, underscore Live, Neighborhood Talk, um, Sarcastic Chicks is a variety of different um, backgrounds. Like my overall goal, goal is to have a versatile team. So if you're looking for white, black, Asian, this is definitely the type. And these are sassy quotes. Um, the Sassy Realist, that's another versatile page. Secretly Twisted is another versatile page. Media Blackout USA. They have majority men following that page. Millennial Married, Boss Babe Corner, Every Woman Inc. All right, so just go ahead, screenshot this, y'all. Screenshot, screenshot. And if you're planning on using any of these pages, they're checking them out to grow your audience. Drop a one in the comments for me. I want to see who plan on growing their audience using some of these pages. And these are just tips. And once we can do another training on the content strategy to use, I actually have a launch strategy. I use before I run any promo. Um, right now, I think I'm at 38,000 followers on Instagram, and I incorporate a budget of marketing advertising to run ads on different pages. So this is a great way to grow your audience. Screenshot this, y'all. Okay, so step two, content strategy game strong. All right, so these are four types of content on Instagram that converts. Educational, which puts you in the realm of expert. What can you teach others? So 
So a, a educational post would be giving information on CBD. The most common thing is people think they're gonna get high from drinking the CBD detox tea. So really breaking down the difference of THC and just uh, THC and broad spectrum, something like that. You wanna educate your audience to give value. Okay, storytelling. You know, let people know this is gonna grow your like, know, and trust factor. Create immediate connection and trust with your audience. Third way, shareable, uh, viral content, quotes, memes, infographics, videos, anything that's shareable, you need to have this on your page. Okay, sales. This is going to be your promotions. This is going to be stuff about your business. But you guys also need to do it in a elusive way. And I'm going to go into that as well. Share your business, share your product. So these are four different types of content everyone needs to have on their page. Okay, don't I'm like the Instagram police, like everybody, everybody on my team called me the Instagram police. Because if I see, um, if I go through your page and I see 5,000 posts of you in that damn bottle of Nutriverse and your caption just reads, link in the bio, I'm going to pull my wig off. Like that drives me insane, drives me insane. So the pink print is really creating versatile types of content on your page give people a reason to freaking want to follow you you got to entertain them you got to educate them they need to know who you are before they give you their credit card right so these are four type of content you guys need to have on your page educational storytelling shareable content and sales all right y'all got it screenshot 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 okay so continue all right so your content hangout spots so this is something i focus on like everything is like a, a freaking, you know, episode for me. So your feed is like your magazine. These are your aesthetics, okay? So it's where you grow your micro blog. I look at my page like a freaking micro blog. People go to my page and be like, girl, it's lit. I like your aesthetics. I like your theme. Like it's like a magazine. Make it pretty. I created a lifestyle brand, paid and pretty chick. So my page is pretty, okay? Look at Kimmy page, fine ass Kimmy. You do not see her busted in just looking toe up on her page. Make your, <laughs> make your Instagram page stand out, you guys. It's like, it's like a magazine. Your stories, this is your blog, all right? This is where you connect, educate, and entertain your audience, okay? And remember, I actually put a lot of, a lot of focus on my stories. Like, my stories is lit, all right? So this is where, this is like a vlog, your day-to-day um, be your mom, showcase that you're a mom, a business mom, a business ad, whatever. Your stories need to connect. Your live streams and IGTV is the Netflix of your Instagram, okay? Create short educational videos around your niche. The DMs, it goes down in the DMs, all right? This is your sales meeting, okay? This is part of my funnel. I actually just start really incorporating this because before I'm like, don't, don't, don't message me. Link in bio, okay? If you got a question, email me. Like, I just hated people in my DMs. But now I incorporate it. So this is how we, this is where I close the deal, okay? My DMs is my sales meeting. It's an intimate way to sell without looking salesy on your page. You can cut deals and all types of stuff in your DMs. Email marketing. Email marketing is bae. Take them on a date off social media. You guys, we, I cannot stress this enough. We do not own Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube. We don't own, these are free social media apps, okay? I am a firm believer in owning everything. Email marketing, this is something that you pay for, this is something that you own. As long as you pay that bill, it's yours, okay? So take them on a date off social media. This is where you nurture them. Okay, this is where you provide more information. I look at business kind of like dating. Like how many dates does it typically take for someone to commit? They got to get to know you. They got to grow to love you. They got to, you know what I mean? Take them on a journey. So email marketing, I'm not going to touch too much on that. Once again, we can probably do a more advanced training on that. But I am going to give you guys some platforms you can use for your email marketing. All right, and these are sample posts. Because I know a lot of people drop a two in the comments, you guys, if y'all just don't know what to post on social media. You just not creative. I don't know, you need to meditate. I'm not sure. But I see a lot of people posting the same boring stuff on social media and it drives me insane. I, I am queen, queen of peak and interest. I am queen of the tease. My posts will have you like, damn, what does she do? 
Like, what do you do, girl? Like, what, what, what do you do to make all this money? You know, I provide a lifestyle. I'm extremely, um, I focus on attraction marketing. I provide valuable content and I want them to come to me. I drive them in by content. So these are a couple posts that I want you guys to screenshot and utilize. The very first time or when I first got started, I made a post. CBD is a projected $22 billion market and I just invested in it. Hashtag passive income streams. You guys, I got like 200 comments. When Whitney got started, when we launched her, I'm like, okay, post this. Whitney launched it. She posted it. She got about 150 or probably down to 200 comments as well. So the moment somebody gets started, I have them launch with the post where they're not typically saying they're in TLC, but something to draw them in to where people are like, damn, what are you doing? I want to get in. I need to CBD is just a lit industry to be in, right? So post stuff that have people coming to you, have them all up in your inbox. Okay. Second post, post a body pic. If you're on your weight loss journey, if you lost a couple pounds, post a body pic with a caption. I just lost X amount of pounds drinking this tea. Don't post the product. Remember, you want them to ask you, what are you taking? Because everyone already has some idea of what TLC is. They already have some idea of what the CBD detox tea is. They already have some crazy idea in their head. So my, my um, strategy is to, you know, hit them where they don't even know. Okay. So they'll be like, damn, I didn't even know you were in TLC or I didn't know you was taking the tea. And they're just because I'm using it or just because you're using it, they're going to want to do it too. All right. So I want you guys to try that post. Third post getting paid in five ways and majority are in my sleep passive income streams all right people want people want to make money in their sleep all right people are used to having to go to work clock in and get money all right we get paid five ways that's lit y'all that's lit not too many companies pay five ways and trust me i've been in every dang on company all right so getting paid five ways and majority are in my sleep remember all your posts you want to kind of tease them like I'm telling y'all, I am queen tease. Like you want people to figure out what are you doing, all right? Lastly, post a before and after, after pic with the caption I've been getting. You can switch this up depending on what um, products you're using. I'm using these vitamins, look at my skin, y'all. Hashtag low up. They're gonna be like, damn girl, what are you using? I want it, send me the link, okay? So post in a way that's gonna draw them to you. All right, if y'all haven't screenshot this, screenshot it. If y'all are getting value, drop some threes for me in the comments. Drop some threes, drop some threes, drop some threes. All right, and oh, oh, lastly, I forgot to mention that I use this system with creating posts. I like to spark inter interest with the hook. So your first line in your caption needs to be lit. The moment somebody sees a number, and if you notice, like two out of these um, posts, there's numbers. We see numbers and we automatically think money, right? So that grabs people attention. So the first line, I'm putting 100K in 90 days. Well, I can't do it now, but that's just something I used to do. So make sure that your first line and your caption is like grabbing them with the hook. Make sure you're telling a story if you are using a long form post and make sure you're educating them and providing a solution to the problem. Do not just make a post, lose five pounds in five days, click the link in my bio. That drives me crazy. Give them some freaking, let them know how the tea or the product helped you. Let them know how it's gonna make them feel and let them know, honestly, I rather now, every single post, I have people, my CTA, which is call to action, is watch the stories, watch my Instagram stories and then DM me. Cause my stories are lit y'all. So every time somebody watches my stories, they're in my inbox anyway. I get about over 50, um, over 50 DMs a day on a slow day. All right. So if you found value in any of this, drop some ones. We got to keep it going. Screenshot this as well. All right. So here's a bonus tip. Because remember, y'all, I'm like low-key Instagram police. Like y'all can ask Daryl, y'all can ask Zoe. I'm just like, oh, oh my God, let me fix your bio. It's driving me crazy. Like, no, let me, let me do your link tree. It's looking kind of tired and boring. So I am queen of sparking things up, making them pretty, making them sassy. That's my, that's my personality. So here's a few apps that can step your social media game up. All right, Canva. Canva is a popular website and app, social media templates, Mojo, 
story templates. This will have your story game pretty and lit. Word swag to create quotes. Um, poster my wall to create your own flyers. VSEO, photo editing app. Y'all, if y'all post a picture, make sure your picture quality is like, y'all, spirit of excellence is what Coach Stormy talks about, right? Lighting is so, I'm like, ugh. I'm actually just, I'm a nerd for everything, but make sure your lighting game is strong. Don't take no picture in the bathroom. You got a dirty, dirty mirror. The lighting is dim. It's dark looking dingy. Use apps. If you do, you don't have great quality um, lighting in your apartment or house, just use apps to spark it up. All right, so I highly recommend this app right here, VSEO. Snapseed is another lighting editing tool. No, Lightroom is another editing tool. PicMonkey. Put some highlight cover art on your page. It drives me crazy to not see no dang on um, highlight cover arts. Put some some type of icons, y'all. Step your step your Instagram up, all right? Like I'll, after this live stream, I want to see that everybody IG is game is just pretty. Okay, use these apps. It will literally give your whole Facebook game. I'm sorry, Instagram game, on a different level. All right, fonts app. So if you've seen people um, who have pretty text uh, captions in like different fonts. They're using fonts app. This is the app. And if you're looking to put, if you're looking to put um, spaces, gaps in your caption, use this website right here, appsforlifehost.com. All right, so after this live stream, I'm expecting y'all to have just the whole bunch, just the facelift on your content, okay? Facelift on your content. All right. Next, we're gonna go to another bonus tip. All right, so this is how you automate your business. Automate your business, y'all. So these are apps that will post for you on social media. Hootsuite, Later, Tailwind, Planoli, Buffer, and Sprout Social. So if you're a mom like me and you got 5,000 things to do and um, you don't have time to post on social media every single time and you can't really remember or anything, use these apps. It will post for you. All right, y'all. Step three. Capture their leads utilizing email marketing. These are free ways to step into the email marketing game. Now, I'm not gonna touch into it too much. We can do like an advanced training later on, but here's some apps, I'm sorry, here's some platforms that you can use for free. HubSpot, MailChimp, MailerLite, Stripo, SendPost, and you can even make a Google form questionnaire to capture their email, their name, um, their phone number, whatever, using the Google form of questionnaire. All right, and here's two, uh, it's like you really just wanna step it up. All right, you can use lead pages, which is $37 a month, and click funnels, which is $97 a month. Now, if y'all don't got it, don't use it. Don't stress yourself out, but I just wanted to give you guys a variety of different options to um, tap into email marketing. But these, one, two, three, four, five, these six right here, help spot to the Google form questionnaire, these are free. Okay, free 99. So this is how you step into email marketing. So if you're trying to capture the lead, you would just make a landing page, get their name and their email, and then you'll make an email sequence. Once again, I, we don't got time to go into all of it today, but advanced training later on for everyone that's interested in email marketing, I can do that. And um, Whitney knows it too. So Whitney can do it too. I just volunteered. <laughs> I just volunteered her services. But go ahead and... Um, Screenshot this, you guys, and so we can get it. The next one. Okay, so text message marketing. Remember, I told y'all, like, I don't play. Like, part of my content funnel is to be in their face all day, every day, wherever they go. Email, I'm in the email, I'm on their texting them, I'm on social media, like, everywhere. So I love text marketing because people check their text messages more than they check their emails. So here's um, some platforms that would give it, um, give you a trial for I think two weeks or they'll give it to you free up until like 50 or 100 subscribers. So simple, simple texting, text 180, easy text, easy texting, 
Slick Text, and Textily. This is a great way to capture your leads. Once again, you do not want to rely on social media because if your social media gets hacked, how are you going to run your business, right? If something, if you just can't, uh, Instagram freaking closes out, I mean closes out, Instagram shuts down down there once a month. So my goal is to have an audience with like, no matter what happens with social media, I have my list of prospects, okay? Without having to have a list on paper. I'm really digital marketing queen. So make sure you guys write this down, utilize it. Text message marketing is easier than email marketing and people, the open rate for text message marketing is way higher than email. So this is an easier way to step up to digital marketing. And here is my funnel. All right, so this is a step-by-step -step process of collecting their email, their number, for launching your business to get more buyers. Okay, so my step one, and this is really, really simple. It's easy, you guys. You're gonna create a landing page. So you're gonna create a post with your CTA, which is a call to action, to drive traffic to your opt-in page. You're gonna collect their email, you're gonna collect their name, and now they're in your funnel. Remember, you wanna create a step-by-step -step process to turn your lurkers into customers. It takes the average person up to 30 times to see something to make a commitment. Okay, I want you always to keep that in mind. So this is why I create a funnel, give them a freebie. So everybody should have um, sample credits. You can buy sample credits in your business, I mean your business, in your back office. So go in your back office, buy some sample credits. So you can make a post. I have 20 more samples for the CBD detox tea. Hurry up, click the link in my bio before they run out. All right. They're now, they put in their name, they put in their email, and now they get your welcome email with the link to get the free samples. They're in your funnel now. So after step two, after they're opting in, they should immediately receive a freebie. This should also be your welcome email to build that like, know, and trust factor to nurture them and list all your accolades and everything like that. You want them to like, know, and trust you. Offering them a freebie is a great way for them to get used to you. All right, step three is gonna be create a seven to 10 day email sequence, giving the product info, exclusive offers, and more. Once again, you want them to have product information. You wanna educate them on information. You wanna entertain them. You want them to get to know you. So I create a seven to 10, di seven to 10 day email sequence. And once again, this is a little bit more advanced. But you can do this with text marketing too, to where they're getting emails. I mean, getting text messages every single day. I send a text message to my text list, just affirmations. I have a lot of people who just want to join, like, dang girl, I just like your energy. I want, I want to join just because of your energy. You can do all type of stuff with digital marketing. That's a different class though. Okay, step four, building a community by creating an exclusive Facebook group for your prospects. I am queen of the Facebook group. Honey, I have like six active Facebook groups right now. Like this is an amazing way to build that like, know, and trust factor, you guys. Give um, prospects an offer to see you up close and personal. Testimonials. You can do uh, Q&A sessions. You can do all type of stuff. Like our, our um, Facebook group is lit, all right? It's just tons of engagement, tons of content, and it's a great way to grow your business. All right, lastly, limited time offer from giving a free product or a free strategy call session or whatever. So my last, last part of my funnel is the scare tactic. It's like I'm increasing the urgency for you to hurry up and join. So every single post, like every week I create, I only have nine spots to join me this week. It's typically more, but this is just something like, damn, I need to hurry up and get started. I need to hurry up and buy. Or I'm like, okay, I only have a limited a spot for whatever I'm offering. You want to last call, last time offer. You want them to hurry up and get into the business. However you want to do it. My last step in my funnel is the urgency. All right. So I want you guys to screenshot this and I want you guys to incorporate this. You don't even have to incorporate this in email marketing or text marketing, text message marketing, but incorporate it into your post as well. Every single post, you should have a call to action. They should be opting in to either text message marketing or something. Facebook group, your chats, whatever. Add something else for them to grow to like you or grow a community on, okay? Screenshot this. And this is the last part of the presentation, y'all. I am so excited. So if anyone has any questions, 
we can cover the questions, put them in the chat. And so we can go over them really quickly. Anybody got questions, y'all? Oh, wait, I don't think I got my thing on. Okay. No questions, good. That means I did my job. Let's see, hold on. Then y'all got something, hold on, wait, I'm trying to catch up in the chat. Hold on. <laughs> 